Billsbury now has toys. Wonderful. We're on to the industrial era. I'm looking for the modern era merchants. Those are the ones that I'm looking for. They should be the best. Cold War. Rock bands. It's a desperate attempt to get some more tourism with Rome, but it's an attempt we will do. I think we should be able to get a few rock bands in before they block us. But I mean, once they, once I unlock them, then in theory, they also unlock as well. Hang on, where is it? Containment? No, it's not that. Where is the policy to basically stop people? There we go, music censorship. Okay, so they, they're not at Space Race just yet. Steal Anshan quickly and boom, 241 science per turn. That's a big swing. Huge swing for me. Lovely. There we go, there's turn 200. We just picked up scientific theory. We're just picking up flight as well. 323 tourism per turn. We are winning now. We are up to about a quarter of what we need, but we still have a long way to go. I've got so many people, great works, waiting to get put down. This is where I need to go. Yeah, I think if I'm gonna do this properly, we're gonna to have to go far more aggressive, far, far more aggressive. Now Rome, as you can see, is building Royal Valley and Broadway. So right now, best thing I can do is just get myself ready to go well, literally nuclear. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can just take Rome out. Uh, how would this put us? So we'd lose 12 envoys. Uh, sorry, tourists. So I'd be on 49, but I'd need 49 out of 125. So I'd be way closer to winning. My third national park. I like these sort of tessellating ones. They're always really good when they get popped down in order. Very fun. Tamiris is now a friend as well. Good. I'm going to get a cultural alliance with you because I've obviously share a border. We've got some trade routes between us and I want to go and settle towards you quite aggressively. Sorry, Canada. This is going to be the start of me settling repeatedly next to you very aggressively. James Young, he shows me where oil is, which is quite handy. Chemistry as well, ballistics. So how much oil did I get? Let's have a look. There's some in a lake and there's some under that improvement okay that's not very lucky sometimes if you've got a district on top of some you don't have to do anything from that point onwards you just start to scoop it up and i was so addicted to my last aztec game that there is huey i built it with four lake tiles around it so that should be worth i believe plus five somebody in the comments last series says that it does count the tile that it sat on. I'll take your word for it. Why not? Cold War. I believe everything the audience tells me. Let's have a quick look. Oh, plus six. Nice. How many luxuries are feeding into that? None. Okay, this city is just permanently happy now. Awesome. So quite a fun little problem I've got here is that I've actually picked up an apostle. Now this apostle is in the dreaded religion, but, 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 if I were to say, take it into a barb camp, leave it there, in theory, it would die and it would lose its religion so huzzah i'm just gonna go send it over to this city that uh no, the netherlands are about to lose <laughs> that works yay give me a free a free profit and then i'll kill it Ha! <laughs> there is flight okay right now we need to get making aerodromes this is suddenly very important very important indeed saving up a little bit of gold to assist that process by the way uh there we go steam power radio advanced flight oh hello hello we're at war with rome i didn't do that i promise what happened roman empires declared war against the dutch my ally oh rome you cheeky sausage what have you done what have you done actually they are devastatingly cheeky look at that field cannon armies if i go near any city with a wall i'm gonna get more than burnt that's disgusting Okay, so basically we need a plan. Oh, they're putting walls up around Caesar Augusta immediately. Am I going to be able to run in with men at arms armies and do this? No. <laughs> no is the short answer. So I want to kind of pull back a little bit here, I think, and, and hope. Hope and pray. But we are not a million miles away now, and we've just got a wine back from Rome, so we can sell that off again. Good, good, good. Continue generating tons of money. I, we, this isn't long now. This is not long. We are, we are almost at Plains, and as soon as we get to Plains, I'll be able to cross the narrow sea, take them on, and wipe them out of the game. And as soon as I take them out of the game, I should be pretty much guaranteed a culture victory. I hope. Anyway, I'm settling without water on top of these snuffly trufflies because... That city is now in range of the factory and coal power plant of my capital. If I'd gone to the river, I wouldn't have been able to actually sit on anything. So 
There you go, that's why I did that. So I can't got these rivers are oh, crazy this game. The same ones get hit over and over and over. I think there's gotta be something to do with the fact that there's only so many rivers that can flood here. There's another great writer, and I've just realised Nan the Doll has flipped against me. I don't like that at all. Trajan? Oh how dare you? This is my favourite city state. My favourite one. Actually, I've got containment as a card, so I'm just gonna wait until Raj is a thing again. And then we can go from it from there. Military aid request. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that out. That's pretty good. And there's Casa. So we get three extra governor promotions, which is pretty cool. As well as extra production, faith and gold in those couple of cities that are across the continent divide I pointed out before. Plus, when I go and take over Rome cities, I'll get a little bit of extra everything once I go through. But those governors are genuinely quite useful. What do I want to do? I actually want Raina. I want her to be able to build me things. So let's go to Harbour Master, Tax Collector, Contractor, like that. And then I can use her to purchase in districts in this city, for instance, like an aerodrome. Although this city is maxed out on districts, unfortunately. But look, you can see there's a dam option there. That's cool. And an aqueduct option there. So this city could get really powerful. I'm going to save it. Until I get myself radio and I know exactly what's going on, we're just going to save it. Here as well is containment instead of Raj. Very nice. That's perfect. Now we can go to Nan Nadal and go one, two and Kasploosh. We get two hero score and we take the city. Even better. Even better. In fact, Anshan, um, this line inventory is quite useful and I want to pillage with it. So I'm going to levy it. Thank you. Two extra era score. Same with Brussels. I could have done that next turn for the era score in the correct area, but I am silly and I refuse. I refuse to do anything like that. Quick, space race time. I'm also going to put down some railroads now. It's the, it's the sort of Ursa panic reflex, like something badly goes wrong, put down railroads. Everything will be fine. Can I just say I'm disappointed by the aid request that's going through at the moment. We just have a look at this once this has gone through. I've been given zero, minus six and minus 147. Now I know that that is war score that is eroding that, but that's not a very high element, is it? <laughs> at all. So yeah, not, not so happy about that one. To arms lets us get armed units a bit quicker, which is cool, but I don't need that production bonus. I'd rather have the goals to buy the planes and I'd rather my traders not get plundered. So that's quite handy. It's worth just about a hundred gold per turn for me. First railroad connected. Our civilization's the first to do it as well, which begs the question, what on earth is the AI doing? Actually, I'm killing their military engineers, so that could be why. Okay, this apostle unfortunately has found no enemies in this city, so I'm just going to throw him into Rome's land and hope that we can do something that way. Oh, no. Okay, their line of entry is being very aggressive. I'm just going to pillage. That gets my gold back, at least. <laughs> There's nothing else I can really do there. Yeah, it's dead. It's dead already. Still, I got a good pillage in, and that's what matters. Who's got the most points? Oh, Scythia does. We're going to vote for her. You should get a thing. World's Fair, yes. Duplicates. Oh, we did get duplicates last time and it was... Was it wine? I don't even remember. I don't remember at all. So we'll vote on that and see if that goes through. No, it wasn't. Okay, never mind. Uh, it is me with culture bombs. Yay! I won that one though. So I actually got two diplomatic points out of that Congress. And I am still in second last. Oh, I fell. I can steal him. Huzzah! <laughs> Snuck that through. I'm actually building quite a few wonders in random little places, so that helps a lot. The there is radio. Television. How much aluminium have we got? There is some underneath uh, tile that I can improve. Good. That's under a neighborhood. Good. That's under a neighborhood. Good. That one is under a farm. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. There's stuff that I can do, everyone. It's brilliant. Let's go fix all this quickly. I fell. Good. Let's just quickly get the Hermitage sorted. I quite like that wonder. It's amazing and it gives me all the improvements that I can need. And then broadcast centers. Oh, of course. Right. This could be a good way of getting my tourism up. But I think for now, the main thing I need to do is just make sure that we are boosting ourselves to advanced flight. I need as many planes in the sky as possible so that we can devastate, devastate Rome. I'm not entirely sure anyone won any rewards from the aid request on me there. But I mean, maybe Canada got to. No, they didn't. No one gave me any gold. Quite sad, really. Tamiris hasn't met America, uh, sorry, Rome yet, which is unbelievable. Like, how they've got away with that, I don't know. Ooh, Sikhism. 
Oh, nice. This apostle actually belongs to a different religion. Hey, it eliminates 75% pressure from everyone. Okay, you know what? That, that's a handy promotion. Great, I can just get rid of the, some of this horrible religion from my empire just to stop, just to stop the Dutch from winning a religious victory. That's really handy. Hermitage, four slots for great works of art. Now this is particularly interesting for the Congo because I can put all of my miscellaneous sculptures in there and eat them all for breakfast. <laughs> Lovely stuff. I mean, it's, it's really, really, this is basically the daycare for pieces of art that haven't got anywhere else to go. I say that all the time and it still is true. Uh, if you can have a look at this, look at all these pieces of oh, just pointless, pointless architecture. These sculptures. Now they're producing 8 food, 8 production, 16 gold, and some tourism in my capital. Because Pingala's in the capital and he's doubling tourism. So it works super well. Now, I need to find someone who does landscapes and put them in Mumbai. I think I had one that was doing landscapes. Yes, here you are. Where was that city? I don't remember where any of these cities are. You're over in the other direction. Right, quickly, you go. Oh, I can't put it there because my general is in the way. You head over to this city. Good, that'll theme that one. Now I have a spare museum. What is in this? Religious. Hmm. Yeah, go, man. That'll do. Oh, more landscape, actually. Could just put more landscape in there. Let's do that instead. That is the first amphitheater I have finished in a long time. Are there any pieces of writing I can buy from anyone else? Oh yeah, Canada is flogging them for like nothing. Great. Always worth taking them off the AI instead of putting your own down if you can, because it lowers the overall domestic tourism that anyone else is throwing at you. It's a nice little, nice little trick, that one. And here's another settler. Sorry, Canada, but I'm just going to keep settling all over you. <laughs> this crossbow is somehow still alive, and just before the fuel cannon kills it, that's another pillage. <laughs> I levied that. It's got nothing to do with me whatsoever. Nice. I love it. Well, there we go. Advanced it's flight. Really it has been done. My hangar is almost complete. I kind of want to wait until I finish that before I build my planes, just because it's like, I've done it now, I might as well. Feels weird building it and then not using it, but you know, I've done weirder to be fair. So now that I've got advanced flight, I believe I don't really need much more on the tech tree, but I will just unlock line inventory first so that I can use them. They're a little bit more powerful than my men at arms currently are. And if I'm going to upgrade them, I might as well upgrade them properly. Oh, Pingala finally got killed. I was riding my luck on that one. Did very, very well. And actually took quite a bit of tourism out of my capital, so that's no fun. Let's get myself an airport, get the era score, and then let's get ourselves bomber number one. We'll get ourselves bomber number two, and bomber number three, and bomber number four. Lovely. One thing I need to remember to do with my military engineers is to put airstrips down so that my planes have a little bit more maneuverability. But as you can see, we've got some room here. I think the first city that we take, Caesar Augusta, is going to be pretty easy. And from that point, it's just a case of, oh yeah, Rome are in a golden age as well. It's going to be a case of visibility is the problematic thing. Hang on, my caravel. Let's make you into an ironclad. Yeah, that'll help just keep you alive. And then we'll just move my units around, wake you up quickly, go and have a look. Uh, we'll put you into the sea. I'll have to just sort of use you to attack with. All right, Mr. Corsa, into the sea you go. Let's bomb number one. We'll bomb number two. That city is now on zero health. You're going to regret doing that. Uh, it's a major defeat, but it doesn't say ineffective attack, so I think it's fine. Yes. It is fine. Huzzah. And actually, the city's fully loyal as well. Who'd have thought it, eh? Who'd have thought it? Right, let's move my units forward a little bit. Let's get a musket upgrade done. A little bit stronger now. And we've got our ironclad on the way as well. Perfect. And our first bomber. Can, uh, oh, I can't even reach the next target. Okay, right. That's, um, that's rubbish. That was an absolutely useless military encampment. I need to build another one a bit closer. No, no, Rome. No, no, this is not peace. This is the slow disintegration of your entire empire. One city at a time. Beautiful. That's exactly what's going to happen now. You thought, you thought you can out-culture Ursa Ryan. That was a foolish, foolish mistake. Bomb Palmyra to almost take the walls out, but loyalty is going to be a real problem here. Let's do that city first. Just make sure the walls are down and then get this bomb going as well. Good. 
So, cavalry. Do I need cavalry? I kind of do need cavalry, don't I? Let's get this musketman done. That is line inventory sorted. Perfect. Ironclad is now through to here. I'm going to see if we can take both cities at the same time. Ideally, that's the only way I'm going to hold on to the loyalty, I believe. Oh, our first broadcast centre as well. Perfect. That means we've got more space for more things. I think it's better to put more writing down, I believe. And I've got loads of spare things, but I guess music actually gives... What gives more tourism to me at the moment? I've got four tourism from each of my uh, great works of music. And I believe writing is very similar. Yeah, yeah, because it gives double. So let's put music in. Sorry, Portugal. You're not going to like that, but um, I did it anyway. It's all about collecting all of the oil that I can. It will come in handy later. Oh no, grievances to Portugal. 25 of them. Dear, oh dear. Okay, it'll be gone in six turns. Here is social media. I think we're going to get ourselves online communities now. That's awesome. And let's give ourselves a little bit of extra culture as well. A boom. So I'd now officially be halfway done if Rome was not in this game. So doing a right thing. I think we're doing the right thing here. Two cities are now on zero health. So we'll get this ironclad to slam into there. And we'll get this line inventory to slam into there. Perfect. Keep city. Loyal. Keep city. This one is somehow loyal as well. Oh my lord. Victor, get over there. Oh yes, what a, what a result. Next step, this 13 pop city and then this 10 pop city. We've got a plenty of planes right now, but all of my gold is going towards more planes as we unlock them. Oh, actually, this city I just stole has oil in it, which is awesome. And this city has a bank I actually needed another bank i might just ruin exactly what i just said and get the second bank because that was the economics boost i was waiting for in fact actually i also need a boost to build an airstrip on another continent so i'm just going to put one over here quickly and that'll give me the rapid deployment boost um i don't know what has happened i seem to be playing safe i had a perfect game plan and i found my hand just lost control and grabbed the mouse and started clicking furiously and I blanked out for 15 minutes and now I've just woken up and this has happened. I, 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 duh. What? What's going on? Someone, someone help me. Oh, actually, oh, I can get the martyr ability. Oh, that would be quite handy. Um, I could get the martyr ability on my apostles. Do I want to do that? That would give me relics. That's a bit more tourism. It's a bit pointless, <laughs> being honest. Of all the things I could be doing. That feels like the most pointless thing. Is Pingala not dead anymore? Oh, he's oh, one turn until he's not dead. Come on, be not dead faster. Okay, Setia is a little bit tougher, but shouldn't take too long. I think this city has Broadway in it as well. That is connected to Setia, isn't it? Oh yeah, that, that, my friends, is quite a pickup. Oh, I could, I could just imagine having Broadway in my empire. That'll be a massive bonus for me. Oh, and seaside resorts as well. Oh. We're getting more tourism the more we war. That's just mad. Oh, he really wants peace now. No, sorry, Rome. No, 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 no. They are producing units now. They're starting to really kick the units out. But unfortunately for them, Anshan is the one they're attacking. I'm going to vote down on the military emergency. Canada might go for this. Oh, they always do. Canada are so cheeky. You I mean, I fine, whatever. I mean, I get less tourism. I guess that's the only problem, but... We'll keep an eye on that one. I've still got my ally. Portugal didn't join it, so it's fine. Goddard gives me one extra level of diplomatic visibility. She is an incredibly useful merchant to have when you're getting a little bit frisky with war. So that's perfect. Rockefeller, more oil. Uh, buying wonders. Oh, there's some lovely things out there when you look for them. One attacker, two attacker. Okay, and the line inventory wades in, and that's a 14 rock city flip for me and synthetic materials boosted as well. Ooh, very nice indeed. Okay, right, well, that was quite easy. We'll see if we can do the same in Aquelia. Oh, look, we can, ha <laughs> ha. Oh, look at all these extra luxuries that I can now trade. Now the world's gone against me. <laughs> it's quite handy, that. Give some tobacco, lovely. Anyone want any of my stuff? Quick, all of the stuff is for sale. Lovely, yes. Yes, okay. Now, I don't think I've taken... Oh, no, I did take another aerodrome over here. Perfect. I'm going to build my bomber over on this tile just because it's closer. It's kind of the lazy way of doing it, I know, but it's what I'm doing. 
This has turned into such a fun little end game. <laughs> we need to practice doing this sort of war a little earlier. I think if we'd had a bit more luck with city-states and a bit more planning, I could have absolutely done this way, way earlier. But I mean, in terms of just having fun, really enjoyed this. This has been this has been lovely. So much fun. Okay, right, the city is now pretty much down to zero. In fact, it is down to zero. Let's just move my line inventory in. We can make this attack next turn. In the meantime, look at all these luxuries that haven't been improved. Rome, what are you doing? I haven't even got monopolies and corporations mode on. There's no excuse. No excuse at all. There's environmentalism, by the way. Even more tourism. Actually, yeah, now we're starting to really crank on the old tourism. I can now put satellite broadcasts in because I've got so much more music than I used to. Yeah, late game policy cards. They change you very quickly into an efficient beast machine of tourism. Aquelia, have they got any? Oh, they've got loads of great works for me. I feel like the AI does try occasionally to move them outside of your range. So like if you are taking over a city, it doesn't necessarily leave it around for you. But still, I'm, I'm just evading so quickly. I don't think they're going to really be able to stop this. I'm just not gonna take any risks. Put that to zero health. Take that city, take this city. That's two more. Thank you, Rome. Thank you, Rome. You're going to lose that city in how many turns? Or like four turns, like four turns. I don't even need to bother taking those cities. We're going to keep on pushing now until we get to Rome. Actually, El Greco, can you do me a favor? Can you just come over to Aquilia? I'm going to use you to scout out Rome. I need, my bombers need some range. <laughs> they don't, they can't see anything at the moment. So can you come and do that for me? In fact, actually, if I fly one over, okay, right, now I've got range, but still. Yeah, just using El Greco to scout the bombs. I'm telling him that he's sort of, he's looking for paintings. That's the official line here, but um, I don't know if anyone will believe him. You'll never guess the view that I saw when I took a trip into Rome. I saw fantastic little target spots for bombing runs, and I, I painted them perfectly. You know, I wonder historically how much, because back in the day, communication and information was so important for warfare and for the strategy and for keeping a country safe and everything before the internet and before telephone communications just took so long to get through. But I wonder how much was based on like bards and artists and just sort of random cartoons and paintings coming back where they look at stuff and go, oh, there's a lovely painting of Venice and oh, look at that beautiful Venetian arsenal. I wonder if that's a defensive formation. Let's plan accordingly. Like, I bet that happened more often than you'd think. I'd like to think that anyway. I've got no evidence to suggest that at all. Rome has been one attack. There's the two attack. There's the three attack. There is the four attack. Is this a five attack? Oh, it can't quite reach. Oh, ho, ho, Rome, you, you lucky sausage. You got away with that. Never mind. It's all good. How many cities have Rome got left? 13, apparently. Uh, minus two from that because they're not going to keep these cities at all. I'm going to lose them in two turns. So they've got 11 cities of import for us to go and kill. Nice. Right, Rome. Oh, yeah, the cavalry is easy strong enough to take over Rome. Perfect. And again, it's a loyal city. Somehow, somehow my cities are loyal again. It's, it's just, oh, like Rome is in a golden age. That's the crazy thing. Right, come on, El Greco, in you get. Ah, oh, perfect. Good sighting. Well done. Now that he's there taking paintings of Kume, I can run my bombers over and just disintegrate them. It's actually very lucky that I caught Rome just before it got either steel or into building renaissance walls for like, like a lot of these cities still have medieval walls some have renaissance walls but not many quite handy being massively helped by my beautiful plus six intel on opponents movements that is my great merchant as well as the spy i've got sat in and the city over on the west coast it's yeah it's quite handy okay we're at a slightly frustrating part um in the sense that we've got so many units lurking around now it's a bit frustrating so i need to get steel as quickly as i can but again i'm not rushing it where is it over there uh actually in fact i'd rather get computers to give myself more tourism i'm up to 895 now and if i take away the 35 points of rome i'll be on 100 out of 171 so i'd be way over half so yep Still continuing to bomb Rome into oblivion. That is the good strategy here. My cavalry reckons it can run round, so run round it shall. Okay, um, let's just move to there. And Kume, it says major defeat again. That's not, um, that's not ineffective attack. It's not ineffective attack. So 
There we go. The city is now on zero health. Major defeat. Can we do it? Yes, we can. If it says ineffective attack, that's when you need to sort of think, hmm, is this a good idea? So when the computer like would be like, are you sure you wish to do this? <laughs> it's like, yes. Yes, I am. I've never been more sure in my life. Run my horsey boy into the wall. I want to be just like a dirty AI. Go on, El Greco. Here we go. Find some stuff. More cities. Good Greco. Good Greco. It's always worth double checking these cities. Kime, as you can see, actually has a spare slot. So now I can go back. I can go Mark Twain. The adventures of Huckleberry Thin in my capital now. Lovely. Well, my builder was captured, but that's fine because I've left it kind of there deliberately. It's not of a high priority for me right now. I mean, yes, you, you can attack my builders all you want, friend, and that's fine, but I'm still stealing your cities, and that's kind of the important thing here, so why don't you focus on that instead? Oh, my inventory can actually reach over to that top city, if I can bomb it enough. That is a big if, actually. It's got a lot of walls left. Let's just run all my bombers in, see how low we can get it. Not low enough. Ah, never mind. Okay, that's fine. We can fly um, two of them forward a little bit in a second. Let's just, for now, use my cavalry. Oh, it wants to go this way, does it? Okay, fine. Right, well, you do that. That's good. And take the city. Perfect. Another 10 pop. Even better. I guess, Victor, you just keep shifting forward. Thank you so much. All more sculptures. Oh, that's fun. It's not until very late into the game that you can actually theme sculptures, so that's quite that's quite cool. We'll um we'll keep an eye on that. In comes inventory, and this nine population cities mine as well. Okay, Antium. We're upping upping the Antium. No, no. Oh come on, it's funny. <laughs> I promise. Uh, let's do that attack and this one. This is almost destroyed. The question is, can my cavalry get any health? Hmm, unfortunately this is all very much tundra-y up to the north, so I don't want to rush forward too quickly. There are entertainment complexes around, but I don't want to take the gamble of running in and running out of steam, so we're just going to leave you there for now, just to heal up. No Rome, no peace, no peace, not until you give me all of your great works. I want them. I want them all, please. Thank you. Especially because you only have seven cities left now, so really... Your ability to sort of complain about what's happening is diminishing rapidly by the second. Let's move my... Oh, that's an attack ineffective. Oh, see, that's what you've got to watch out for when it says that. Um, okay, right. It reckons the cavalry can get through to do some healing inside their land. Now, I've got depredation, so the movement here might be enough. No, not quite. But I can kind of sit here with a little bit of health for now. That's fine. And actually, depending on where my military engineers are on a very ages away, I was going to say I could probably move my inventory a little closer there to make them sort of come in. But no, that's fine for now. Let's just take this two pop city. This one again has way harder walls than some of the bigger cities around. So that's kind of a bit weird. There it is. Mine. Huzzah. Move my furthest away planes over just so they've got a little bit more range. And double check which city states will be fighting. Only the ones on my own continent. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Fine. Uh, right, we'll kill kill some things to get some era score. If you use a bomber to kill any unit that's a core or an army, technically it counts as being outnumbered because your bomber is only a single unit rather than an army or a core. It's total rubbish because it's quite clearly overpowered, but you do get the era score from it. So plus one every time you kill a unit with a bomber. It's very cool. Oh, that almost got killed almost so really that wasn't as effective as i kind of hoped it would be there but never mind okay that's fine we can oh there's no more plundering to do there is a little bit more plundering actually just there is it worth it or do i just save him by escorting out of the lands as quickly as possible it's possible that that is the way to do it okay that's fine we can rescue it that's not a problem we'll just use our bombers to fight a way through we'll carve through the enemy units grinding ourselves beautiful amounts of era score to do it lovely and actually that counts as a, as a major defeat attack now weirdly i mean i imagine if i bring this to zero health it'll still be attack ineffective yeah i was gonna say normally it doesn't let a unit that weak get the kill that's fine el greco it's right just mine there we go moved over to there now i've got visibility if i do have any bombers with range which yeah unfortunately is 
not a thing. Oh, Pink Gala got killed again. <laughs> We've got that whole issue where the immortal Pingala keeps going back to the city and being like, oh my goodness, it's good to be back. Bam, immediately killed again. Oh, brutal. Right, there we go. Antium has been taken out again. Perfect. Another level two pop city taken. I just upgraded this cavalry into a cavalry army in the hope that it would survive a bit longer, which is working well so far. Four cities left. One, two, three, four. That is it. That is it. And then we should hopefully almost instantaneously win a culture victory. After all, this is exactly how culture victories were supposed to work, you know? You take over people with genes and pop music and where that fails, you bomb them to oblivion. Ah, yes. The peaceful, cultural way. Carpet bombing with pop music. <laughs> it's an official thing. Okay, these city-states are proving annoying to me, so I'm going to just claim both of them back into my empire. Thank you so much. Now, where was Kilwa? Was Kilwa in Rome? I feel like it would have been. Maybe it wasn't. Was it in the Netherlands? Uh, hang on. And why, did I, why am I searching it for it like this? Come on, just search for it properly, Ryan. Do it properly. Don't cut corners. It was in Canada. Oh my god, Canada trolled me this whole time with Kilwa. Oh, terrible. Yeah, look, we've almost got the instantaneous victory. We're going to win a culture victory anyway, but look, if I remove the 26 tourists from Rome, I get to 153, and I need 171 to beat Tamiris, who hasn't actually gained any in a long time, so this is working well. I built Bolshoi. It gives me two free civics, which is probably going to be a couple of governments that I've missed. It normally is. It's very rarely something. Wouldn't it be great if you could actually, instead of taking two randomly chosen, you could opt to take one that you pick? How much more useful would that be? That would be insanely useful. Um, okay, Wilhelmina, uh, we didn't give her any money, I totally forgot. <laughs> I'm sort of busy at the moment. Let's put these books and these things of writing into the new lovely theatre. And if I can just find somebody who's on the end of their tether like this dude, I can go she pop like that and then pop on the same turn. Brilliant. There we go. I thought for a second Wilhelmina would try and get out of this uh, friendship, but they're not going to. Come on, get back in this war. There we go. There we go. I was missing that combat strength bonus. It's only a little one, but it makes a big difference. Major victory. Okay, I'll take that. Perfect. Ostia. How do we even get to Ostia? Let's move there. Um, we've got Amphibious. Elite Guard. Actually, that helps. Perfect. We should be able to get around next turn. Beautiful. Oh, I won the World's Fair. Yay, I get great people points. Oh, quite a few. Uh, Rockefeller, I get um, an engineer, and I get a general. Actually, oh, I get a general. Ooh, oh, it's like Christmas. Okay, perfect, off you pop. World Congress, honestly, right now, it does not matter. I'm gonna go for Portugal, I'm going to ban coal power plants, and I'm gonna say I get fewer grievances, but ultimately, again, doesn't matter. It really does not matter at this point what is going on. Everyone's like clueless. We're just saying, you know what? There's a big war going on over Rome. Rome was by far the most powerful person in the world and suddenly they don't exist. No one's entirely sure where they've gone. They just seem to have vanished and we're like, hmm, indeed. Odd that, isn't it? Very, very odd indeed. The last two cities have now gone as well. Sorry, that is my spy. I did just move it um, on. And El Greco, I really need you at front line, my friend. Can you can you just sort of make your way? Thank you. I can even liberate that one back to the Netherlands. I'm going to do that. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, cute. I love that. Well, I managed to peace out with Canada, by the way. That was absolutely annoying, that war, because it didn't really do anything. It just stopped me from getting tourism with them. Very clever from their point of view. Very clever. Almost too clever. So here's the cavalry unit. We'll go one attacker. There's this bomber. Two attackers. A uh, roamer on one city, as we know. In fact, actually, let's just make sure. Let's just make sure by eliminating all of the health entirely. There we go. And hey presto, Rome has been knocked out of the game. And because of that, there we go. We instantaneously the get culture the culture victory. Is that is what happens when you knock out the person in charge of domestic tourism. You immediately then win the game if you've had enough tourists to conquer everyone else. Exciting. Look, Rome did so much better than us that game. 
we we allowed ourselves to get sucked into a very early war and I just wasn't quite as effective as I should have been but I feel like the tactic wasn't far off perfect we just need to improve it a little bit for my game look at my culture boh me and Rome were just to and throwing that entire game science wise I had the lead after I started to build campuses it sounds stupid but I really did make an effort kind of about the turn 180 mark which felt a bit late but what you're gonna do is fine score wise yeah it wasn't until I declared war on Rome that I actually overtook them in score so Rome were having an absolutely amazing game and religions founded this was where the game went a bit silly oh look Canada did found their religion right at the end oh you know what that is absolutely incredible Canada oh yes I know I know you're gone I know you're gone that's fine look just here's the victory screen look um actually it doesn't even say that we've gone over that's the ridiculous thing it knows that we would have gone uh, it's a weird way that it sort of times for calculation you just have to sort of trust it there look Canada they've finally put their own religion down they have just trolled us the entire game look even with Kilwa oh ridiculous so what was my plan when I set out when I began this game turn 200 culture victory well it's turn 243 so we went over a bit but that's still a sub 250 so we did very well what could we have improved on well our war against Portugal was very good but we didn't end up basically capitalizing on that by building the infrastructure around my own land enough to build the population off. I didn't really get Pingala up and running quickly. I stuck around in Classical. I didn't get to Classical Republic quickly enough, so I held off the government plaza. There were things we could have done. I also could have used city-state units up in Canada to attack at the same time. I kind of tried to do too many things. We also got a little bit unfortunate that Rome was over here and not over here. If Rome, the culture leader, had been one of these two, we would have probably knocked 30, 40 turns off the game immediately. So that would have helped massively as well. I also think not using naval units really was painful as well. We could have done that a lot more. Finally, settling cities. I really should have settled more cities. I was kind of stuck on 10 or 11 there for quite some time. I really could have gone back to war with Canada to steal Hamilton. I could have taken some of these from Saivia. Don't forget, you don't need to be friends with the AI to get culture victories. You just need to have open borders and send them a trade route. If you go to war, the turn after you make peace, you can give them open borders and they can't do anything to stop it. So it generally works out really well. But look at this. Look at this gorgeous city. Sankor to the north. We've got Hermitage to the east. We've got ski resorts to the west. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. Very good practice for what should be a special episode coming up soon. Finally, I just wanted to say thank you very quickly to everyone supporting the channel via Coffee and Patreon. If you haven't checked it out, please do. It really, really helps me to build these videos. But more importantly, I'll see you all in the next series. Goodbye! And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Glorious Petra, Davalex, Doughboy91, Skeptical Bear, Paul Coffee, Craig Brown Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Portland, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Nim, Amir EC, Henry, Rom88, Radiatore, and Private Selection Genoa Salami for all of your support. Thanks everybody!